Hi everyone, it's Gail, and today my little play is going to be with painted papers. And um, I used to do these all the time. I haven't haven't done them in a long time, so um, I'll just uh, I'll show you what we're gonna do, and then I'm gonna kind of get some started because I just want to play. So. What I make these out of primarily is I have a bunch of magazine pages out of um, Mary Inglebright magazines, old Mary Inglebright magazines that I had. And so um, I'm going to use this side of this one, this side of this one, this little half page, just going to kind of get rid of it. And then this is a cover, so it's a little bit thicker paper. So that's what these are made out of. And my plan here is I'm gonna I'm gonna show you these completed ones, um, and then I can get them out of my way, and we can and we can start, and I can show you how I made them. So this is not my original idea, you know, because I really don't have a whole lot of those. <laughs> Um, this one is attributed to Shannon Green. Shannon Green is my mixed media hero. I just love her. She's so funny and cute and everything. So if you, her YouTube channel is Shannon Green, or maybe it's by Shannon Green. And um, anyway, she's just great. And she has lots of great ideas. And I've, I've tried almost everything that she's ever done. So um, and loved every minute of everything that I've ever done that she has shown me. So I wanted to share them with you. Um, and first of all, I'm going to say with these painted papers, because first thing you're going to ask is what do you do with them? And, um, first and foremost, I do them because they're fun and I enjoy it. So that's the first thing. But um, as far as what you can do with them, I've done a variety of things with these. I cut them up for collage. I have um, I have covered old business cards, covered the side with the printing, and then used the other side and made um, uh, art journal prompt cards with them. Um, I have used them on ATCs cut up. I have used them to make bookmarks. Um, and I'm thinking, as I have talked about d doing more of my mixed media stuff in my junk journals, I think, you know, you could just um, back them with either coffee dyed paper or an index card or something, and it makes a journaling card or a tag. I have used them on tags. I have used them as backgrounds in my art journals. So there's lots of ways you can use them, but... I primarily make them because they make me happy. And then when I come across the use for them, awesome. And I do it. So, um, so let's look at these ones that are done. So I wanted to tell you that I kind of use the, um, the, the magazine page to kind of inform where I paint. And you'll see more of that when we get to the painting part. Um, but, and I use it to inform which paint I use where. So, for instance, in these circles on this one, I used a light yellow because they, the flower was on the, um, on the magazine page. And I wanted to um, be able to see it and be able to doodle over it. So, so, yeah, so painting the page is the first step. And then I don't know. I think I have, I think I have some that are. Excuse me while I. I, think I have some that are just painted and I haven't doodled on. This is my pile of to dos. Well, this one is close. Let me show you this one. So, I just painted the various squares and stuff. This one I've gone back and done a little bit of. Um, I've put some circles on it and used some bubble wrap to make some dots and so first thing I do is do the um, painting then I do stamping and stenciling if I want to and then um, like this one I outlined all the boxes and then I'll go back and doodle some more and these are something that I love to just do while I'm watching TV with my husband because I can just doodle away and before you know it 
you've got a big old stack of papers like I do here. So, um, so I'm just going to flip through these for you. And, um, I, I, unless there's something real interesting, I won't hold them up to the camera. Cause I think, I think you can see pretty well. Um, so this one, let's see, what is this? This is on like a catalog or something. Cause it's, it's thicker. It's more cardstock. Um, this one is a Mary Bright magazine page. And by pulling, I just use craft paint. By putting that craft paint on, it thickens up the paper. And it gives it a real nice feel, I have to say. So this one, see there's a stop sign and railroad car crossing. I used light paint there so I, could, um, so I could doodle around all of that. This one just did squares. And um, I think this love and this KM were there. So I'm guessing this page had some squares on it to begin with that I just kind of followed. Oh yeah, I did a whole, um, I had a office supply catalog and I tore it apart and, because it had different interesting sort of things. This one it looks like, because there's, there's Robert Redford himself. So this was a Sundance catalog page. So yeah, I just have a little folder of magazine pages and I just use them, ones that grab me and, um, and paint them and then, and then doodle on them. And so these are the ones that are done. This one I used some metallics on. I really like that, that th those turned out really fun. And I used some stencils there, you can see. And this one also has stenciling on it. And then, um, and then once I've, I've done all the painting I want to do, I just get out my markers and pens and doodle. This one's, this one's not done. It's, it's got a little to go, but, um, but, um, this reminds me, you'll see the base colors of these are the same. So normally when I do this, I do it at my big table and I put out oh gosh, eight or 10, um, magazine pages. And then I just go around to each one, say with this turquoise, turquoise, I do it here. Then I come over here and do a couple of, and then I go to the next one and I use up all that paint and then I go on to the next paint. So this was a batch of various colors of blues and turquoises that I did. And these are all looks like Mary Inglebright, um, magazine pages. But, uh, but yeah, um, they're just, they're just fun. It's just, it's messy and it's fun. And as, as I've said, I haven't done this sort of stuff in a long time and I'm excited to kind of get back at it. And I'm trying to figure out kind of a balance between my junk journal making and doing this sort of stuff. Um, this was this is funny because this is before I was making junk journals. This is a um, a German book. Now I would probably not paint on it. <laughs> now I would use it as a page in my journal. But it's okay. You know, it could still be a page in the journal. And just a fun, happy page. And um, I think some of these papers would be fun in my little golden book journals. And... Um, yeah, this was an old, old magazine that I did, and it, 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 the paper was falling apart, and the acrylic painting paint is holding it, but still probably needs to be um, attached to something else. See, I went around some of the pictures in it. Um, these are some big ledger sheets that that I did. Uh, and these are, what are these? Oh, these are, these were a Disney brochure that I just tore apart and uh, just an advertisement we got in the mail, you know. Um, so yeah, I have quite a few of them here and, um, different types of paint too. These, this paint here is uh, Liquitex, and it, it 
adheres differently than the other craft paints. So that's kind of fun to play with that too and just have different sorts of, um, you know, textures from the paint itself. This one yeah, said, me, it says meet Cozy Shack's official grandma. And so I just doodled around her. That was kind of fun. Um, yeah, so I do, I do let the pages sort of inform where the paint goes and that kind of stuff. This was another one of the, um, office supply ones and they just had, they had all these squares like that and I just followed them with the paint and then, and then doodled on them. This was, uh, this was an American Girl catalog and they had this, um, I can't wait to dream up even more bright ideas. And so I kept that so I could write over, right over the top of it. This one was kind of fun. Um, I'm not sure. Looks like it was a fashion magazine, but see there, the shoe was, that was part of the magazine page and I just painted around it and then, um, and left it as part of the picture. So, um, so yeah, so, and here's, here's a page that I, I don't know if I was using that to clean off my brush or what I was using that for, but that was that. Um, I was going to show you these ones that were in my, these, this batch was in my pen carrier because I am not done doodling. But this one, I don't know why, but I got all sorts of intricate on that. And, and I'm sure it was when I was in my Zentangle phase, which I still, I, you know, once again, I haven't done it, but I miss doing it. So these ones are ones that have only just started with the doodling. And what I do is like, as you can see, is I don't like work on this one and finish the whole thing at once. I just kind of... I kind of do whatever is calling to me at the moment and so that's why I have this whole batch because I'm kind of working this is the batch I'm working on right now and um, this one there was wrapping paper and so I just I just sketched kind of around that and made this girl and yeah and then this one doesn't have much of anything. This was cool. This was part of the um, Office Supply magazine. And it, these rays say, let your imagination shine. So I let those kind of show through. And I like how that one, that one will be fun to, to doodle. So I'm not sure if I can, if I can doodle with my, um, with my sling or not, but I think I can do the painting. We're going to see in just a minute. So anyway, that's, that's my little stash and this is my current doodle pile. So we are going to get some paint out and we are going to, we are going to do these. Now you'll see, I have, um, I have a white, what this is, is a desk calendar, the other side of a desk calendar. I always, um, use that sort of thing because I'm going to get paint on it and it makes great drop papers for my drop paper journals. I do have a uh, long ago a video on making the drop paper journals. Um, but yeah, I figure, you know, we might as well make some fun papers while we're at it. So let's see how we do with this. We'll see if I get myself all painty or what exactly happens. So get my water here and I've just grabbed, I've only grabbed like half a dozen paints because I, you know, I didn't want to get too crazy here. So it'll be interesting. My, you know, as usual, my table is small here and, um, I would have probably, I'm going to unhook my sewing machine cords and give myself a little more room that way. I probably would have, um, done this on my big table normally but um my arm doesn't want to go there so okay so I usually start with the lighter ones first now I don't I can't even tell you if my acrylic paints are going to be any good or not it's been so long 
all of them are going to have paint boogers on the top. That's for sure. Um, but this is some pearl, just folk art. But the pearl I wanted because for things that I want to show through. So, gosh, I'm just kind of... I apologize because my left hand is kind of in the camera range, but it's the only way I can set it up. So I want these little boxes to kind of show through. So I'm thinking this pearlescent paint might let that happen, but I don't know, it's covering better than I thought it would, maybe if I thin it out a little bit. So I kind of wanted that to show through. I kind of like this pillow to show through. We'll see when they dry, but... Um, Maybe we'll do that little pillow too. And how about we do this little painting right here. I'll just come straight across. Well, even if it doesn't show through, it's pretty. It kind of, um, what do I want to say, puddles, pulls away a little bit, but uh, that doesn't bother me because it's just going to get doodled over anyway. So that might be all I want to do on that one. Just because of my small space, I'm going to have to do a little shifting back and forth. Um, I'm going to put this green, this light, on this dog, because he might be fun to doodle around if he shows through. Yeah, he's going to show through. Yeah, so that'll be kind of fun. So I'll do that on that one. Let's see, is there anything on this one that I want to have sh show through? Maybe the cat. The cat would be fun. So we'll just do like a little block right over where the cat is. He'd be fun to doodle over, wouldn't he? And then... Oh, and then these, I kind of wanted these quilt blocks to show through a little bit. So one thing I didn't grab was my, um, I have an old phone book that I used to usually use up old, you know, use up paint and well, and my left hand's doing all right. So what did I do with my wipe off? You know what? Since I, since I don't really know, I'm just gonna grab something. What am I gonna grab? Grab there's a piece of music. This will work. And then, um, and then you kind of have another painted paper because you're just cleaning off what's in the palette. Yeah, don't. I never waste paint either. <laughs> so, just do that. And then, um, let's see, I can set that over here. This is. This is so foreign, getting all this all situated. Okay, so let's do, let's do, what do we want to do? Let's try the, I'm going to try the turquoise. Get my brush cleaned off a little bit more on, on here. Um, yeah, we'll see the turquoise if there's anything in there um my grandkids have been using the acrylic paints more than me i tried to pick ones where i could actually hear the paint moving around in there so hopefully we'll be okay okay so let's see i have to just do one at a time don't i for my space jeez sorry to be so awkward you guys i'm just so not used to not used to the left hand. So I'm just going to do a few 
blocks of the turquoise just here and there. Nothing, nothing planned really. Mostly I wanted the dog on this page. And when I'm using my right hand, I'm a little more precise on my squaring off, but not a big deal, you know. It's not like I'm painting a Rembrandt here. <laughs> not even close. Um, and then as you saw on some of the others, I kind of like to here and there put a little circle. So we'll just try and see if the left hand can do that. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Gosh, I'm going to be totally ambidextrous by the time six weeks is up, aren't I? Which is kind of fun. Okay, and then I'm going to put a little bit down here. Just on the side of that green. Oh, got paint on my sling hand. I knew that would happen. Okay, so probably have it on my sewing machine before I'm done too. <laughs> okay, so that's enough turquoise for that one. I'm going to set it over here to let it dry a little bit. And I'll put some turquoise on this one. See how the drop paper is starting to get paint on it? Yeah, love that. Okay, I'm going to use the windows as a guide here and just put turquoise on this window. That'll be fun when I'm doodling. I can maybe go back in and do something. Whoops. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> oh, you guys, this is so funny. <laughs> but, you know. I'm getting it done. It's not pretty. It's not pretty, but I'm getting it done. So, um, yeah, so my friend is coming this afternoon. I'll probably be a painting mess by the time she gets here, but she's coming and going to take me to Hobby Lobby because I can't drive for six weeks. I probably told you that. And um, so I'm sort of at the mercy of my friends to get me out and about a little bit. So, so yeah, she's going to take me to Hobby Lobby and we'll have ourselves a little shop. I, there's some trim that I need and looking at my acrylic paints like I I don't know I'm gonna need to beef those up a little bit. Um, maybe we'll put some in between these two like maybe come out a little bit like that. Okay Call that one. Call that one good. And we'll set it over here. So let's just go right down this strip. Ish. <laughs> as much as Lefty will do. We'll just go right down this strip. And sometimes I like having a little bit bigger spaces of you know, of one color too. I think I'm just going to go to the edge because I can't seem to not. Um, I like the bigger areas sometimes because you can do a little, little big, bigger doodle. The other thing you could do is on these, you could do a little collage over the paint, like, like this blue thing. Um, you know, you could put like a lady there or something, which would be kind of fun. Okay. So, just for the angle, I'm going to try this with my right hand. I just want to go in between these. I'm moving my whole body. Don't don't worry. I know a few of you were worried about my last video, but I promise you, I will do nothing stupid. I don't want to to do this again. <laughs> so, I will be careful. Yeah, that that works okay though if I move my whole body. Okay, okay, that one's 
was fun. All right, so then do a little on this one. I was thinking this that this little thing would be fun to go around, but I don't know if my left hand will be smart enough to do that. So <laughs> we might just have to go with squares on these because that might be all we can handle at this point. That's going to show through a little bit with the letters, but I guess that doesn't matter. I think I'll go all the way over to the edge of this. Okay, so then let's now I've set my papers over my Scrub off paper. Maybe we'll leave that on the bottom. That would be smart. Okay. And what color do we want next? What are we thinking? I am kind of thinking about some, maybe some red. So, get this paintbrush a little. Okay, so let's get some red out. This paint isn't as bad as I thought it would be. It's amazing, honestly, how long um, acrylic paint will last. It really is. So well. Now we kind of have to go around that circle, don't we? So we'll pretend that these wiggles are on purpose, <laughs> even though they're not. Okay, I think I'll go down here, try and square that off a little bit. And anything you do with your paint that you're not loving, you can always go over it with markers and fix too, you know. Gotta go. Got to. Okay. So maybe a little strip here. And maybe let's just go right across there. Um cut this one in half and go do a little strip on the bottom and and I'm just, I'm just doing what's pleasing my eye, you know, as far as where I'm putting the red. It just, I don't have any, no rules with it really. I'm just trying to put it where it makes my eye happy. Okay, so this one, let's do up here. We're going to go down a bit because that was a little bit of a sloppy edge on that one. I hope you're all just helping me with this um, this whole left-handed thing. You're probably just <laughs> It's probably not relaxing to watch this video. It's like you're just helping me along, trying to help my guide my hand. But honestly, like some of these little blobs here, I do that when I'm doing it right-handed. So, you know. Let's see. Let's put some down here. Kind of 
kind of square that off a little bit. And I need more paint. That's what I need. Thanks for playing along with me, everyone. I have just, you know, the days are kind of long, I'm not going to lie. And so, because I can't really go anywhere. So, it's really nice to have, have you guys to talk to while I play a little bit. Finished a book. So, I've read a book this week. <laughs> um, but, you know, it's just nice to have other little... Oops, stuck my finger in the paint. Okay, we're going to call that one good. And grab one of these little guys. I have a feeling I might try and use my... This is a different definition for body painting. When you have to move your whole body, just lay the paintbrush in my hand and then just pull back with my body. <laughs> it's working. I'll tell you what, I have learned a lot of workarounds in this last week. <laughs> okay, that's good. Let's do a whole strip just right down this side. Okay, call that one done. And the last one over here under everything, and I can't quite grab it. Ugh, there we go. Got it. Turquoise is still wet. Okay, so we'll use up this red. Let me do a big, big square here. square there. Let's do right down here. And let's do one at the bottom. Now I'm hoping kind of that those polka dots will show through. Yep. So that I can use those as some of my doodles. Okay, then that one's done. So we'll get the red out of here as much as we can. See, this is how that one book page came to be, was just cleaning off the brush. So, okay. Set that one aside and grab the one we did first. And I'm thinking I need a little lime green happening. Okay. You guys, I don't have water in my craft room. Never have really. Um, so I keep a, a half gallon milk jug and when the waters that I'm drinking, when I have like a little left from the day before or something, I pour it into that, into that um, half gallon milk container and then I have easily have water. So I mean, I have to take it upstairs when I want to dump out my paint water and stuff like that. But it's kind of nice because then I have water when I need it. Okay, we're getting there. We're just almost full. So that's fun. Then we can maybe pull out a stencil or something. I don't know. Okay, I'm only going to do those two with that is all I'm going to do. Okay, let's see. Grab another one. Ah, I just fell on the floor. 
Okay, let's see. What what do we want to do with this guy? Definitely. Oops. Do a little right there. And a strip right here. And how about a little down this side? Okay. That one's done. Maybe I'll set that over here. And I'm not trying to stack them on top of each other. Okay, this one, I think all I'm going to do is a strip at the top. Oops. Hopefully make it a little straighter than that. And then a strip down here. Okay. And then the other little one. all the way down. Ooh, I grabbed a little of the red, but that's okay. I don't mind that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's it for the green. So, wipe off my paintbrush a little bit. And I think I want to just have a few pops of the purple metallic, but I think, I don't know if this Dina Wakely is any good, but we'll, we'll see, I guess, huh? Oh yeah, still good. Um, I have found with jelly printing and everything that... Um, a little pop of orange really brings things together for some reason. Um, like if I do a jelly print and I'm like, eh, needs something. I don't know what it needs. If I put a little yellow on it, it's just amazing what it does. Okay. Or I mean orange. Sorry. Um, so I have an idea. I think I'm going to use this orange. And fill in kind of the rest of the spaces on the papers and then I think I'll use the purple metallic as um, through stencil what do you think okay so that paper is completely is completely all covered so that one is done as far as the background goes okay and put some orange here here and a little here and a little here and then some over here the Dina Wakely is heavy bodied paint and so it's thicker and it's going to take it a little longer to dry but but that's all right Okay, and that one's covered. So we'll go now. Put that one over there. Okay, I'm going to get a little more orange because this is tangerine color is what this is. I do really like the Dina Wakely paints, I will say. But they're a little pricey, so try and get them on sale. Hobby Lobby. Let's see, try and figure out the best way to hold this paper. Because the heavy body, it drags a little more, if that makes sense. And so, need to have a little bit better grip on the paper. Okay, that one is done, done, done. And we just have this guy. There's just a couple of spots. We'll go over her face, which actually, yeah, that's going to show through enough that I can, and the flower is too, that I can doodle around those. That'll be fun. Just got 
got a little of the red, picked up a little of the red. Okay, and right here. And done, done with that. Okay, of course my stencils are completely buried as I look, but I have some little ones up above that I think I can grab easily. So let's do that. Oops, just got orange paint on my sewing machine. Nothing safe. <laughs> okay, so set this guy over to dry too. And let's see if, let's see what stencils I can grab. I don't know. You guys, I have not been good about putting things away because, well, just because of the situation. Actually, I think I can get these ones out. We'll just use these. Yep. I have no idea what's in here. There's some Punchinella. That's always fun. These are not ones I hardly ever use. So, so let's use them. That's what I say. Okay, so let's move the water before I dump it. And let's see, which one did we do first? We kind of did this one first, so it should be sort of dry. Oh, I do need my water for a second to wash the orange off. Hey guys, I might hit this one with a with my heat gun for just a quick second to make sure it's dry and I just don't smear everything when I put the purple on. It's mostly the heavy body that's not dry yet. Some of the red. Got a little heavy handed there. Once again, if I knew how to edit videos, I could take this all out, but I don't. If any of you can tell me, like, if there's a software that you use to edit your videos or something like that, I really would appreciate learning because I, I think it might be more enjoyable for you to watch then. So, okay, so this is a funky little stencil. Oh gosh, my my sack of Christmas stuff just took a dip here. There we go. So this is a funny one. It's kind of got a lot of little, it's called a doodle flower. So that's what I'm going to do with it is doodle. So I might just lay that down and, ugh. Gosh, there it goes again. Um, I kind of want a sponge though. Let's see if I remember where those are. Um, sponges, sponges, sponges. Gosh, you guys, it's been so long since I've done any mixed media stuff. That stuff is all kind of got. Oh, there's my. Oh, I have to show you this. So the, here's my book that's my wipe off. I just found it. So it's fun. And then these papers get all crinkly and crunchy. This is what I use when I'm jelly printing. And um, yeah, they're fun. They make fun envelopes and stuff. So, so yeah, so there's that. So I can't believe that my little sponges are too far away. Um, extra supplies. Maybe there's something there. Well, I can't find my makeup wedges, but I found a little sponge paintbrush that'll work. So anyway, yeah, this is this is fun. I I like I like wiping off in there. So I'm also kind of apparently re um acquainting myself with all of my all of my supplies 
for the kind of the art side of things. Okay, okay, enough craziness, Gail. Let's do this thing. So, I haven't checked the time on, you guys always tell me not to worry, so I'm not. I haven't checked the time on my camera at all. So, let's see if we're going to be able to do this. I think we are. Actually, this is probably better than a makeup sponge for my current situation. Kind of like that. Just being able to hang on to it easier. These are fun, these little squiggles. I don't know how well they're going to turn out, but... We'll see. Then see if I knew how to edit too. I could come back after I doodled on it and show you. But who knows? That might be <laughs> it might be a while. I just don't know how how well I'm going to be able to do that part at this point. But that's okay. We can, something to look forward to afterwards, right? So, you can see I'm trying to pounce more so than paint at this point. Because, and you guys, my stencils, these aren't too bad because I haven't used them much, but my, my go-to stencils, ew, my, yeah, they're, they're not great. I don't wash them. <laughs> I mean... And they do just fine. I actually feel like on some of the stencil things that I have, like, you know when you can get that scrapbook paper that's kind of, it's like it's uh, kind of almost like a die cut or something. And um, I have one in here. I'll, I'll use it on the next one. We'll use it on the next one. Anyway, um, on those kind, I use them as stencils, and I actually feel like leaving the paint on makes them stronger, so. At least that's what I tell myself as I abuse my poor stencils. You know, just is what it is. So many, so many hours in a day, you know, and I'm just not going to spend the clean of my stencils. <laughs> oh... Running out of paint here. But I'm almost done. Okay, so I doubt if it's perfect, but let's see what it looks like. It pulled up a little where the paint was wet, but that's okay. I can cover that. But that's fun. That'll be fun to doodle around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm going to put that one up there. And I am going to take, because I do do this, where is my book again? Maybe here. Let's just take a baby wipe. That's about the extent of my cleaning of my stencils. Just take a baby wipe and wipe off what we can here. Okay, so that resulted in a little bit of paint on this on this book, which is fun. Okay, that's good enough. That's good enough for me. I'm going to leave it out to dry somewhere, maybe right there, and this book aside, and let's do this one. Ah. 
Um, so what I was talking about earlier, like this is, this is one of those that it's, um, it's really just paper, but this might be kind of fun to, fun to mush around a little bit. this one and then I won't I won't clean this one at all it will just have this purple paint on it which is just fine just kind of trying to go in the directions of the pattern of the stencil Get down in there in those little creases Ounce where I'm not getting it <laughs> down in the greases. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see how this one comes out. Hopefully you guys are crafting along with me while you're watching this. I love that when you guys tell me but you just had me on in the background and it was like we were crafting together. That's just so fun. I think we're going to have to stop for lunch here pretty soon. And then my friend will be here. Yeah. Paint goober. So, so yeah, I hope you're crafting too. We have a, a vintage market coming up, not this weekend, but the following weekend. So I got to talk to some of my friends and see if anybody's going that can take me with them. How I'm going to carry stuff, I don't know, but I'll figure that out later. Okay, let's see what that looks like. Ooh, that is way fun. Look at that with the shiny. That's going to be a lot of fun to... I think I'm only going to do that one side too and leave this leave this plain and do something else over there. But, but I really like that. That turned out awesome. Okay, so that one now is done. So now what I'm going to do with my little book here... Maybe I'll just, I think I'll put it on like that, actually, over to the edge, because this page doesn't have a lot in it, and then I'm just going to smush it, take some of the paint out if, if it's got a, too, too much. Ooh, and that left, that left some pretties. Okay, and one that will set this aside to dry as well. And what do we want to do on the little guys? Maybe some, maybe some Punchinella. How about? So Punchinella is sequin waste, and most of you probably know that, but I'll just tell you just in case. And we're just gonna, we're just gonna pounce over this big blue area actually we're gonna rub that seems like it's working better with this brush Let's see what we get oh yeah that's pretty yeah that is pretty I'm just going to take the punchinella and flip it over and rub it on this side and see what that does.
Oh yeah, that's pretty. It's pretty. Can you see that? They hold it up there. No idea. Yeah, that I like that. Okay, so then I was looking over at my stencils here. I might do orange is still super wet. So I might wait, but I think I'm gonna put like the ABCs up this way on that one. But I'm gonna wait because that orange is super wet. Okay, so what else do we have in this little funky thing? Oh look. Who knew? I had this. Obviously I've never used it. But that is fun with the lines, right? I'm going to hit this with a heat gun just a little bit on this orange. So you can make these into envelopes too. And I think I'm going to put these lines right in the middle like that. I don't know if I'm going to make this into a envelope or a journaling card. Oops, I need a little bit more paint again. But that is that is fun, isn't it? Let's see. I think I'm going to sorry guys, turn this around a little bit because just for my ease of ease of painting. And then as soon as I finish this, I am going to be done because the shoulder is starting to complain a little bit. So, gotta listen. Gotta listen. So, the last book I read, I have to tell you about this. The last book I read, it's Lisa Gardner, who I love. She is a great whodunit typewriter, and I just, I love her books. Anyway, this particular book was funny enough, uh, the detective had a shoulder injury. <laughs> I, I started reading it and I literally laughed out loud. I'm like, oh my gosh, universe, you crack me up. Um, so anyway, she's got this shoulder injury and she goes to this psychiatrist that's an expert in pain management. And so, and I know Lisa Gardner really researches her books well, so I know this is a thing. Um, I forget what it's called, but, um, and in the back of the book, sure enough, it is a thing. But, um, anyway, you name your pain, you give it a name, and then you talk to it. And, and you know, and you, you thank it for warning your body of danger and, you know, or that you're doing too much or whatever. And, um, so I named my shoulder pain Peabody. So. If here on out you hear me talk about Peabody, that's who I'm talking about. <laughs> okay, let's see what this is going to be like. I hope, oh, that's fun, isn't it? Really fun. I love that. Okay, so I'm going to put that one aside. Um, where's my book? I, I think I've got quite a bit of paint on this guy, so I'm going to go ahead and... Get it off of there. Let's see. Okay. Nothing. <laughs> well, that's laid plans there. That's okay. Okay, so let's let's find us a clean clean phone book page ish oh there's one that I obviously wiped off okay, this one looks like the next one to work on so I'm just gonna just gonna get rid of this purple on my brush done and then I'll pull those out and we can look at them and 
at this point in my world, they are, they are ready. They are ready to be, um, to be doodled on. So I'm excited. I'm excited to have some new ones to kind of spark me. You know, those other ones have been sitting in my, sitting in my area for a while. Okay. So let's put these down here and I'll hold them up to the camera and you can see what we did. And well, we're just over an hour, so that's not too bad. Okay, what did I do with the other ones? Oh yeah, there they are. Okay, and this one, I still gotta remember, I should have saved some purple paint for that to do the numbers, but maybe I'll just use black or something. Anyway, so we have this one, and that's fun. So that could either be like a bit, like a page, a big journaling card, an envelope. I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet, but I love it. That one turned out great. And then this guy with the punchinella on it. And then this one with the doodle flower. And see, it's pulled up a little bit where that paint was still wet, but that's okay. I mean, seriously. That's just a, an area that I will work around or whatever. And then, and then this one. I think this one's my favorite. Yeah, that's going to be really fun to doodle on. So, friends, there you have it. That's painting papers. And um, thanks for letting me share it with you. I love this technique. I love, I love playing with them. And like when we go on vacation this summer, I think I'll take this big stack and take my pens. And when we have downtime, you know, I can just, I can just doodle away, really. So I hope you enjoyed this and I hope it inspired you to get out your craft paints and just get a little messy and, and have some fun. Thanks everyone for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.